Hello and welcome back everyone to another tutorial on Tableau. This series of videos will help you take your skills from beginner to expert level in Tableau. Do not forget to hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon so that you are the first one to know whenever I upload any new video. In today's session we will see how to create progress bar charts in Tableau. Progress bar chart is a good way to show how much progress you have made on a scale of 0 to 100 percent towards a goal. Let me show you an example first. Here I have a progress bar chart that shows percentage scored by 10 students of a class on a scale of 0 to 100 percent. So Rob who has scored 87 percent in the class has a bar that is filled up to 87 percent out of the total 100 percent. By the end of this tutorial, you will be able to create a progress bar chart similar to this one. Now let's jump to Tableau and get started. For this tutorial, I am using the student's performance data set. In this data set, I have marks of 10 students in 5 different subjects and the final percentage that the student has scored. So the columns that are present in the data set are name of the student then the gender of the student, then marks scored by the student in five different subjects, maths, English, science, social studies and French, then the total marks and the percentage that they have scored. Using this data set, we need to find out who has scored the highest percentage. So we will use progress bar chart to display the percentage of all the 10 students. Now let's go to sheet one. Now first drag student name to column shelf. Next we will drag percentage to row shelf. Let's turn on the labels by clicking on show marks label button. We have to show these numbers in the form of percentage. So let's change the default display format of percentage column in terms of percentage. Go to percentage. Click on the drop down. From here go to default properties, number format, click on percentage. We don't want to display any decimal places. Click on OK. Now we are getting the labels in the form of percentage. Let's arrange these bars in descending order. Now to create 100% filled bar chart, we will write down in the row shell average of 1. So these bars will act as the white colored bars which will complete all these bars up to 100%. Now drag this field that we have created to percentage axis and drag measure names to color and next go to analysis, stack marks and switch off the stack marks. Let's change the color of average one field to white double click on orange again double click here from here we will select white color click on ok click on ok again click anywhere outside the chart so the bars are not visible to us let's add a border to the bars go to color under mark section from here select border and we will select this blue color here you will observe that we have a progress bar chart that shows the percentage scored by the students on a scale of 0 to 100%. Next we need to add the labels on the blue bars to show what was the percentage that was scored by the student. So to add the labels we will create a dual axis chart. So drag percentage column next to the measure values in the row shelf. Now make this a dual axis chart by clicking on the drop down and select dual axis. Next let's remove these field labels. Right click, click on hide field labels for columns, hide the axis, right click and uncheck show header. Change the fit to entire view. Now we need to remove these labels that are coming at the top of the bar. So 
make sure measure values is selected go to label and uncheck show mark label next let's remove these grid lines right click click on format then go to borders and select none for the row divider select none for the column divider go to lines from here select none for the zero lines still the grid lines are visible so select none for the axis tick go to rows and select none for the grid lines now all the grid lines are removed if you want these headers to come at the top of the bar then go to analysis go to table layout click on advanced from here uncheck show innermost level click on ok so now you will observe that the headers are coming at the top of the bar now let's remove these tool tips that are coming here so make sure measure values is selected go to tool tip and remove everything from here click on ok now the tool tips are correctly displayed when we hover on these blue bars so in this way you can create a simple progress bar chart and show labels on the top of the blue bars to show what progress is made on a scale of 0 to 100 percent lastly let's synchronize both the axes so click on the drop down and click on show header right click on any axis and click on synchronize axis so now both the axes are synchronized again let's hide the axis right click and uncheck show header so this was all that i had to cover in this session i hope this session was helpful i have added the link of this workbook in the description below do not forget to click on the thumbs up button if you like this video see you in the next tutorial